It always comes to this. guys here to do another tattoo progress update video today uh, where I last left off I had had the stomach tentacles shaded the top one and the uh, not the bottom one but the one that kind of crosses the stomach there um, they were uh, uh, highlighted with silver and white uh, a little more white in the tentacles themselves and uh, the teeth are more of a more stronger silver balance um, just pointing that out because um, we're shading things just a little bit differently so that they stand apart a little bit. Um, we didn't want to do just the straight uh, same amount of white balance the whole way because we're trying to differentiate different elements of the tattoo um, similar to how we have uh, some parts of the original black and uh, some parts panthera black even um, even in this rose uh, you want to leave some of that negative create contrast um, so that you've got three or four different tones you're playing with we may even be able to get that up to five or six different tones I'm, I'm thinking about over the next few weeks experimenting with um, some grays and some browns and some different things and, and a few other pieces that I'll be working on I'll get into that in just a minute though um, so that I don't continue ranting <laughs> like I usually do um, what I got up to this week was uh, a little bit different. Um, we did up this guy here. And we used the most white in this one. Because, again, these tentacles, they're all, they're all shaded similarly. But this one has more of the front side of the tentacle showing. And there's a lot of big su suction cups. And obviously the teeth are huge. so um, And lots of solid black to pop off of. So the black wasn't redone, but because the white is so crisp in there now, uh, the black is looking especially black. We also did, of course, uh, the shading, the white shading and uh, silver shading up here. So again, we get more of that fuzzy kind of uh, silver and white texture that we have in the spider eyes in these pockets here. We redid the red again, so this is two pass now. So uh, similar to this. Eventually we'll have all the red, probably two passes. I think that that second pass of red is uh, really, really nice. Really nice color. That's kind of the color we want. It's probably even a little more vibrant than the color in the eye here. We're going to have to redo that eventually too. When we do hit this eye again, we're going to change up the colors a little bit. It's probably going to be one of those things that upset people. Like anytime I touch the eye, it always upsets people. But it'll be one of those changes that in the long run, people end up liking more. I've been getting more and more people... Now they're like, oh, now the eye makes sense. The the color of it, like the texture of it, it all makes sense with everything else you've got going on. Which again, it's it's funny whenever you uh, whenever you do something new, people are always upset at first, but they come around eventually. Anyway, I I really am quite impressed with how this is healed. This is fully peeled now. I've been real busy this week at the shop. I just barely got to do this video tonight. I've been trying to find time all week. And uh, as I've been waiting, it's been healing more and more. So this thing is fully healed. It's uh, almost a week later. And that's what we're left with. And again, I've said this before, but I'll say it again because not everyone will have watched every video. But the way Weight on Black works is once it's peeled, it doesn't really change after that. So in other words, this is what we have. This isn't going to lighten up more than this or sorry, darkened more than this in the case of white. This is what we're left with. So I don't know if it's just that Rick is really fine tuning this and figuring out where it needs to be in the skin or um, what he's doing differently, but really ever since, because um, these ones are pretty good too, I'll show them how they're healing. Um, they'll stay, this again, this here is about nine months old now. So it hasn't changed any. Um, I'll get into my thoughts on uh, Rick, um, talk a little bit about the man. I think seeing Terry do this one, the third pass on this, and then do this rose for me and the way that it worked for him, I think inspired Rick a little bit. And I think it was kind of one of those, 
Terry is uh, Rick's apprentice, so um, if Terry is able to get the white to stay like that and get it in too, I think it was a little bit of a kick for Rick, like, hey man, you're not the only one that can do this. And I'm not saying that was my intention behind working with another artist for this, but I'm all for healthy competition, and I think that uh, it was as equal parts like pride and also like kind of a, a warning for Rick. Like, not not that I'm leaving Rick or that I'm upset with Rick or anything, but like, hey man, you're not the only one who can do this thing. And for a little while, maybe it seemed like you were, but um, now the pressure's on him a little bit to up his game because he's seeing that uh, uh, his apprentice can do it too. Now, that being said, I've said this a couple times now, um, in doing, you know, this tattoo, and I'll show it off real close again, because it hasn't changed since last time. And I'll, I'll put money down that it won't. I'm thinking this is how that stays until I decide to brighten it up if I want to, or put red in it, because that's on the table as well. Um, for everyone out there who's wondering how this was done, or if there's some secret to it, no, nope, man, just about any artist can do this stuff. And I've, I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but uh, the guy I do Remy Reacts with and uh, the podcast with, we're actually, we're planning on getting into a, a tattoo on my leg because he wants to try some white on black, but he's going to be using everything that I've learned already through this. So like, we know that white can't stand well without black. So like these tattoos that people do where it's just a white line, like a really thin white line, delicate line work, that ain't going to really do well. What you need is uh, black in there too, possibly some gray tones. Um, yeah, you need you need to play with a lot of different elements to get it to work. Like, and I, I think that's probably gonna be true of everything. Like, I think the red wouldn't be standing so well without the black, and then the black would, we, we already know this from when I originally did the spider eyes, uh, they didn't stand out that well until we did the, the white with them. So it's just multiple, uh, multiple facets is the best approach to this. The more, different elements you put into it, the better it's going to be in the end. Uh, the more likely you're going to get a lasting visual image there. Um, now, this chest has softened quite a bit over the last few weeks. Uh, it's probably going to soften even more over the next few months. But whether it softens much at all um, in, the, in the time that I'm working on my stomach and my, my side, uh, we will be we will be on par for doing the chest piece this year. Uh, Rick and I have talked about it. We're gonna go full color. Like we're not fucking around. It's not just gonna be this red. We're gonna get it full color. It's gonna be it's gonna be primarily a red tattoo, um, red color. But it's gonna be multiple shades of red. There's gonna be a lot going on in there. There's obviously there's gonna be white and silver and black and every other tool. But um, it's gonna be a full color piece. Um, so it really doesn't matter if this softens much at all because we can just go right over that with red. We already know that. We've done it before. Um, we're going to do it again. So um, I'm thinking timeline for that is probably close to the end of the year because we've still got a lot to do, um, but we're getting through it quick. Like now that we've started getting into the white highlights, like for anyone who's ever worked on a big tattoo uh, project before like this, like a, a torso or a back or something. When you're doing the leg work, when you're building the components, um, and in our case, it took a long time because we were, we were chasing our tail for a while with the dynamic black on black and um, even then reworking some Panthera stuff like that. It took a long time to get the bones in to where they were clear enough. Now that we have those black shades in there though, and we're just doing the white shades, um, like everything we're doing now is more meaningful, right? We're changing tones. So like we did this side, um, we, we were thinking about trying to do the whole side, but Rick had an appointment in the afternoon and we had done three and a half hours here. But what I'm gonna try and say here is that three and a half hours of white highlights and the red went a long way. Like this really pulled this piece off the background. I've been chirping about Oh, you wait till we get the highlights. You wait till we get the colors, all that. I've been saying that stuff for probably a year now, but we have been struggling to get there. Like if you see here, we're going to have to repair this guy still, but we're going to do the white highlights and the black all in one session in this guy. So that's probably going to be a whole day. It's probably going to be like three hours, three and a half hours to 
because like you can't really see the old dynamic shading this has already been done i've said it before same as the one underneath my belly button i don't know if that one will ever be super clear but when we go to do those it'll be do all the white and black at the same time and then you'll get this dynamic difference like it'll be a huge change like when we did this guy you redid the black and the white at the same time so but next week or i should say in two days from now because i'm I'm forgetting that I'm so close to my next appointment now. Um, we're going to be doing the same thing we did on the other side over here. Again, we got this big tentacle. So this black isn't going to get redone. But when I show this black off next, it's going to look a lot blacker than it is now because the contrast is going to be increased. There's going to be a lot more white around it, and it's just going to show through a lot more. So I don't know how much we'll get done. This tentacle is just a little bit smaller than the other one, but still it's a front side and there's a lot of uh, suction cups and stuff. So there'll be a lot of white and silver in there. And then we'll probably do in here. I would imagine we'll do the same thing. We'll touch up the red in these tentacles again, or these eyes, sorry, um, and do the white highlights in here. And if we have time, because I don't think he has any other appointment that day as of now, what would be nice is to get the white done in here and possibly in here too because the white's going to kind of connect eventually same as the shading has so like all of this is there's going to be very little negative of the old blackout left and what is left will be just there for for contrast sake so like again uh, this this will all be connected with white and the tongues will be done with uh, red and white highlights and the teeth in my armpits those will be highlighted as well so yeah, the little spots in here around this eye, that'll be the same as this. So hopefully by now people can start seeing that, you know, a lot of this is already not the same. Like I did a, a little video on my YouTube and my TikTok both recently of like my first suit and then it's my blackout suit. And then it's like a bit of a showcase of the new work close up. But, like, the tone of this is not what it was. So, like, most of my my body now is almost a different color or a different shade than it was when I started this. And by the time we get done, like, people aren't going to be ready for the rapid progression when we get to my arms. Like, because a lot of the time when I'm wearing a shirt or something here at the shop, um, a lot of people that will come in, they'll be like, oh, I thought he was just blackout. And then I got closer and I seen all the detail. It's like, you're, once I'm covered in stuff like this and this, all over my sleeves and all over my uh, my shoulders and stuff, because like th this chest piece is gonna go onto my shoulders. It's not gonna be like, oh, he looks like he's got blackout tattoos. It's gonna be another thing. Like I, to some degree, now I'm not saying I dislike the blackout or that I, I'm trying to get away from the moniker of being a blackout tattoo for the most part, but like, I think I'm, I've done a different thing now. I don't really, I, I feel like I've done enough already that it's not just a blackout tattoo or even a blackout tattoo at all anymore. It's more of a custom tattoo now. And over the next year or two, there's gonna come a point where people don't really associate it even with that anymore. Um, Cause I'm already getting those comments from people like, well, I normally hate blackout tattoos, but this is so cool. And those are the same people that were hating on me a year or two ago because they didn't they didn't understand where I was going or they didn't think it was possible. Like whenever people see this, they assume it was before the blackout, right? Like these things, they assume the black was done around them. That's going to be more and more once this is all over the place, and and it will be. I'll be talking about this. The people who watch me. By now, they should know that this is already going to happen. But for the people who are skeptical and think I'm just full of shit, um, you can mark my words and you can take it on faith if you have to. Um, when I say I'm going to do something like this, it's, it's a promise. Um, I proved that enough already, I think. But it is going to take some time to get there. So anyway, if you guys are enjoying this journey or you like this video or my other videos, share them with your friends and make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's gonna get real, real wild real quick over the next few months. This whole thing is gonna be taking on almost a whole new identity. So really uh, thrilled to show off those steps. And I'll be back here again, same time next week with another update. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys again soon.